okay rules for finding the integrating factor this is also called integrating factor method there are there will be several rules four rules here one first rules if del m del y minus del n del x divided by n equals to f of x a function of x alone then the integrating factor will be e to the power f of x dx after taking subtraction this subtraction divided by n we get the function of x alone again this is the second rule if we divide this with by by m and the function will be minus function of y function of y alone then the integrative factor will be e to the power minus z of y to y if the equation is homogeneous differential equation then mx plus ny is not equal to zero then one divided by mx plus ny will be the integrating factor similarly another rules fourth rules if the equation can be written in the form y f of x dx plus uh, x z of x y dy equals to zero all function are not uh, not non-zero then integrating factor will be one divided by x y into first function minus second function first function is f of x f of x y and second function is z of x y of the given differential equation so integrating integrating factor will be one divided by mx minus n y will be this now let us consider uh, an example for this suppose x square plus y square dx minus twice xy dy equals to zero okay in previous lecture we uh, have started about exact differential equations so today is uh, uh, non-exact that means reducible to exactness we are studying now x square plus y square will be m and minus twice x y equals to n so uh, par taking partial differentiation of m with respect to y del m del y okay taking partial differentiation if we take partial differentiation with respect to y x will be constant so del m del y equals to what will be x square will be zero and y square will be what twice y because it is the partial differentiation of m with respect to y again taking partial differentiation of n with respect to x uh, x y will be constant here so minus twice y actually this is positive twice y and this is the negative twice y that means del m minus del m by del y and del n del x will be not is not equal here so this is not exact differential equation and so the equation is not exact because this is not equal according to the condition of exactness theorem however del m del y minus del n del x divided by n this is the first rule condition now we are apply the integrating factor method applying the first rule if we take subtraction del m del y minus del n del x divided by n uh, del m del y equals to what twice y and this del n del x will be minus twice y this will be twice y plus twice y so 4y and n equals to what actually minus twice x y then this is the function of x alone remember it this according to the first rule is uh, applying first rule this is the fu function of x alone so integrating factor will be what integrating factor, integrating factor equals to e to the power f of x integration of this function okay minus 2 divided by x dx now 1 by x integration what log x so minus 2 will be the power to the x so x to the power minus 2 the e log will be cancelled according to the uh, uh, relation between log and e so 1 by x square will be the integrating factor now multiplying 1 by x 1 by x square on both sides of the given differential equation then it will become exact differential equation understand now just multiplying one by x square on both sides so in uh, we get one plus y by x whole square uh, to dx minus two twice y divided by x dy equals to zero this is the exact differential equation so now it, it, this is this will be m and this will be n for this exact differential equation now integrating m with respect to x keeping y as constant we get this this is the m integrate it with respect to x one integration will be x and y square integration will be uh, only y square and one by x because y square is constant so one by x square formula what minus one by x okay integration so this will be x minus y square by x in n free from x there is no free term from x so only zero so 
integrating m with respect to x and uh, in n free from x will be zero this is why this will be the complete result of this non-exact differential equation so after reducing this to exact we have solved this differential equation that this is also called integrating factor method for exact differential equation applying this rule just okay just applying first rule we, we have solved an example uh, let us uh, consider this example solve twice x log x minus xy dy plus twice y dx equals to zero this is uh, another uh, differential equation but it is not exact because uh, here m equals to what m dx plus n dy first of all you have to arrange this equation in a standard form exact differential equation uh, a, a standard form of exact differential equation what was m dx plus n dy m and n will be the function of x y only so here m equals to twice y and n equals to where twice x log x minus x y now taking partial differentiation of m with respect to y what will be differentiation only two now he, now here this differential equation will be with respect to x x uh, this is actually uv process u into b differentiation plus b into u differentiation we get this and x y will be uh, x will be one this is why only y but here this is not equal del m del y equals not equal to del n del x this is why it is not exact differential equation you have to decide it now here if we take del m del y minus del n del x divided by n that means first rule this taking this subtraction divided by n we get actually one minus one by x which is function of x okay function of x that means y absent here now you can you can use e use this function as an integrating factor how integrating factor will be e to the power integration of f of x dx this equals to e to the power just minus one by x one by x formula integration what log x so this minus one comes to the power on x so log x to the power one e to the power log will be cancelled by the uh, properties of logarithm equals to only one by x so if we multiply one by x on both sides of the given differential equation this will become exact that means mdx plus ndy equals to zero just multiplying uh, by one by x on both sides so just now integrating m with respect to what with respect to x keeping y as on a constant right and in n free from x what was minus y okay free from x only minus y so integrating this with respect to y minus y dy okay and this will be equal to what c according according to the solution of exact differential equation because it be, it became exact after multiplying one by x now just integrating with respect to x twice y log x and this will be y square by two that means half minus half y square this is the actually general solution of the given non-exact differential equation and this is this method is called what reducible to exact differential equation or integrate or integrating factor method for exact differential equations okay you will try it at home this exercise just uh, using same rule same rule now you now using rule two uh, if del n del x uh, minus del m del y divided by m okay this subtraction divided by m is a function of y alone this will be the function of what y if we divide with n that means uh, according to the first rule this will be a function of x but uh, in second rule this will be m this is why function of will be what opposite y function then integrating factor will be what e to the power function of y dy understand now let us consider another example solve y to the power 4 plus twice y dx plus x y q plus 2 y 4 minus 4 x dy equals to 0. actually here m dx plus n dy types okay arrangement are look like what m dx plus n dy here m equals to what y 4 plus twice y and n equals to x y q plus 2 y 4 minus 4 x right if we take partial differentiation of m with respect to y equals to what will be 4 y cube plus 2 and if you take partial differentiation of n with respect to x this will be y4 minus this will be 0 okay 
and this will be x differentiation what only y cube and this will be x differentiation what one so minus four but they are not equal that means it is not a del m equal to del m divided by del y not equal to del and del x so it is not exact differential equation okay you have to write this statement in every equation so after applying this second rule this second rule if we take subtraction del n by del x minus del m del y divided by m just putting the values here we get function of y what minus 3 by y okay this is the function of y only so we can we can take this function as an integrating factor integrating factor will be what e to the power this function dy integration of f of y dy so f of y what minus 3 by y and e to the power 1 by y formula what with respect to y log y right so this minus 3 will be the power of y according to the properties of logarithm so e to the power log y to the power minus 3 this will be one e log will be cancelled okay y to the power minus 3 equals to 1 by y cube and this is the integrating factor okay we, if we multiply this integrating factor on both sides of the given differential equation then this differential equation will be become will become exact differential equation so on multiplying the given equation one by one by y cube we get the exact differential equation like this okay here integrating m with respect to what x and in n free from x what was twice y only okay free from x there is no x in this term this is why free from x not containing x will be only two twice y so integrating this term of n with respect to y and integrating whole m with respect to x equals to c this will be the solution of the of this exact differential equation this is exact differential equation and in, after integration we get this solution and you can use these rules uh, in this differential equation okay can you do this okay similarly we can apply this uh, the, uh, another rule three if m is the, the form m equals to y into f1 f1 uh, first function of x y and n is the form x into second function then integrating factor will be what one by mx minus n y suppose uh, we'll study in example 35 uh, solve this differential equation actually this is look like y into uh, first function and x into second function right like this now dividing one by x y we have to uh, divide the equation one by x y then we get y into one plus twice x y dx plus x into one minus x y dy equals to zero here m equals to y into first function and n equals to x into second function now integrative factor what will be actually one divided by mx minus ny that means m into x okay m means what actually y into one plus twice x y so this and uh, putting n values n values was x into one minus x y we get one divided by three x square y square combinedly okay integrative factor this is now on multiplying uh, equation two uh, by one by three x square y square this multiplying with the equation number equation number two then we can, it will become exact differential equation now integrating m with respect to x and in n free from x what what which term minus one by three so y minus one by thrice y so uh, just uh, completing this integration we get the solution of the of our given differential equation this is actually reducible to exact differential equation method similar process we, you can apply in this in this four examples try it at home i hope everybody can do this and the answer is given you can verify this also okay determine a function m x y this is the m is the function of x y so that the differential equation uh, m x y dx plus uh, bracket x e to the power x y plus twice x y plus one by x dy equals to zero is exact okay we have to find out the function of m here n equals to what m according to the exactness exact differential equation standard form of exact differential equation m dx plus n dy this will be n okay so n equal to 
x e to the power x y plus twice x y plus one by x. So taking partial differentiation of n with respect to x, we get this. According to the exactness theorem, del m del y equals to what del m del x. So we can write this as a del m del y. Understand? This is the equation of number one. Now integrating m with respect to with respect to what y we get what actually the function f m of y m will be the uh, just taking integration of this with respect to y this will be the e to the power x y into one e to the power x formula x y formula e to the power x uh, dividing with the coefficient of what y coefficient of y will be only x so and this product this product uh, x y into e to the power x y okay e to the power x y so this will be the uh, we have to make it a substitution process for this substitution x y will be t okay or uv process understand uv process so we get this and uh, integration of y will be y square by 2 and 1 by x square will be only y x square because there are only 1 1 by x square will be the constant because the integration is uh, with respect to y so one integration will be only y with respect to y so the mxy will be the fun uh, the same function of xy uh, m will m equals to this this will be the result for this similarly you can find out determine a function n so that this is differential uh, this will be the exact differential equation okay that means satisfy this condition mdx plus n dy equal to zero similar process you can apply it okay mm. okay similarly another example example 38 dy dx equals to x cube plus y cube x y square uh, we can after cross multiplication we can write this mdx plus n dy equals to zero this is equation number one here m equals to what m equals to x cube plus y cube and n equals to minus x y square right this is not exact differential equation because partial differentiation of m with respect to y and partial differentiation of n with respect to x will be not equal so we, we can apply this rule I integrating factor method i equals to one by one, mx plus ny this is another rule remember it not mx minus ny if we take mx plus ny it will be the function of x alone okay then this will be the integrating factor for this now uh, multiplying this with respect to uh, multiplying one by x4 on both sides this will be the this will become exact differential equation so integrating m with respect to x and in n free from x there is no term this is why only this one plus equal to c just after take, uh, after integration with respect to x one by x formula what log x and one by x4 man, means what x to the one minus four so integration will be what x to the one minus four plus one divided by minus four plus one so we get y cube divided by this this will be the actually result Actually, in differential equations, reducible to exact form, uh, we have to follow some um, some uh, suitable integrating factors. Uh, you have to. There are actually eight integrating factors. Suppose uh, y dx plus x dy. We can write this differentiation of x y. We can write this as differentiation of x y. Okay, UB method U into B differentiation plus B into U differentiation like this. And uh, this can be Y DX minus X DY divided by Y square. This can be written as differentiation of X by Y. Okay, this can be written as X by Y. That means U by B method. Similar process if X is comes in first and Y in last, then it will be differentiation of and uh, in denominator XY. We can uh, we can take it differentiation of log Y by X. Uh, actually, one and three and two very important for us. Y d x dy minus y dx divided by x square. This will be y by, y by differentiation of what will be y by x. Actually, this will be the integrating factor. Understand? This is the rules, and you have to remember these rules. Uh, 